want to do for the winter? I'm open. Leo. Good boy. <laughs> He's ready to go. He is. We picked him up from my mom's house and we are ready to head out of Southern California. We had a great time at Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, and the Pomona RV Show. But now it's time to get going and I think we're headed to Arizona. Originally we were planning to go to Utah but it's a little cold up there and we love Sedona and that area so I think we'll head that direction. You ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Leo's ready. He's Leo, are you ready? Yeah, you are. Okay. Let's do it. On the road again. On the road again. Just can't wait to get back on the road again. You ready, bud? He's always ready. You got your healthy snack? I do. My roasted sweet potato. I love those things. We've been on the road for how long? What time is it? Four? About uh, an hour and a half. Two hours. Two hours. Well, we stopped for gas. And then and we sat in traffic for about an hour and a half. Uh huh. And now we're stopped so Joe can make coffee. Yes. I have a little bit of my demi toss coffee left that I've been saving for the drive. So that's getting made this afternoon. It's a long drive out to, I think it's 500 miles out to Sedona. 510 from my mom's house. I'm going a little light on the coffee because I'm trying to stretch it out to two cups. Figure if I don't put as much water in, It'll be just fine. I feel like once a month we have to drive to California so you can get your coffee. Hey, I'll drive back up to Oregon. I love the coffee there. It's very warm today. You're telling me. Leo. What's up, bud? We're not making dinner. Since we started feeding Leo the same food we have, um, aside from the fact that we might add chicken and things into his food, um, anytime we start making something on the stove, like boiling water or Kate brings out the Instant Pot, Leo gets excited because he thinks he's getting fed. I love the turning radius. And our clean windshield. Yay. Thank you for cleaning the windshield. You're welcome. And I took care of the solar panels on the roof. The birds had quite the party up there. We just passed the exit for Joshua Tree National Park. And we were actually thinking about spending a couple nights there, but let's see, it's almost six o'clock and it's still 87 degrees out. So a little too toasty for us. That's why we're gonna continue going go up into Arizona and it's a lot cooler in Sedona right now so that's where we're headed but earlier in the year while we were waiting to take delivery of the Heimer we took our Jeep out when we still had it and did some tent camping at Joshua Tree and had a lot of fun check out the footage we got there cheers get a fire started soon. It's supposed to be in what, the 40s tonight? Low 40. Low 40s. I like that you're rocking the sandals. Of course. Can't go camping without sandals. I hiked the uh, Smoky Mountains with my sandals. It was impressive. People were shocked. Hey little guy. We're in the back country of Joshua Tree National Park. We're currently on an 18 mile geology tour. Having fun? I'm having a blast. I love taking the Jeep off road. What are you making? 
I am making a, like a pseudo chili. Fire is doing well. There you go. Good morning, bud. How was your first night of camping? I'm sore. Are you sore? Thanks, bud. What are you making now? I'm just frying up some ham and I'm going to heat up some uh, tortillas. Got the cast iron over the fire, heating it up. I've actually never had a successful meal cooked over a campfire. I think that's going to change tonight. Scoop of each of the beans. Yeah. Half and half of these? Yeah. No less. Your choice of meat today? I'm, I'm going to go veggie. Hey, but can I get some milk? Yeah. Two scoops of the mild. Uh, one medium on there, and can I also get a medium on the side? Thank you. Leo is very excited. Yes. Not for you. Taco shells. And my overflowing bowl. And you can't forget Tabasco sauce. Chipotle Tabasco sauce. Guac. It's all stuck to the top. There we go. I know I've said we don't eat dairy, 
It's really Kate who doesn't eat dairy. I'll eat it every now and again, especially at Chipotle. The taco? You didn't put any Chipotle hot sauce on it. Oh yeah. Thank you. Cheers. It is time to get back on the road, and the great thing about having a camper van, we have no problems driving at night. Driving a Class A at night was a little sketchy because if you drove down streets with low-hanging branches or things, you might never see them and lose an air conditioning unit. This thing, it's fine and we can drive all night, so let's get back on the road and head towards Sedona. Sounds good. See how far we get. Let's do it. All right, come on. Okay. You know what I do want for my drive? It's very dark. Yes? Yeah, it's nighttime. What do you want for your drive? I'm gonna grab some Ricola. <laughs> I'm addicted to Ricola. Nobody knows that but you now. <laughs> Alright, now are we ready? Yes, got my Ricola. <laughs> you're, you're well fed and you've got your driving snack. I do. And I'm caffeinated. From earlier. Do we have enough gas to make it to Arizona? You said 130 miles? It's about 140 miles to Quartzsite, and the gas is significantly cheaper over there. I think we should be fine. having someone pump your gas? I do, it's kind of nice. But I like getting out and standing for a few minutes. Gas is 238 here. It was 375 on the other side of the California Arizona border. I think tonight we're gonna try and push to make it just outside of Phoenix, stay at a truck stop, and then in the morning make our way to Sedona. Who knows, we might end up somewhere else tomorrow. This is true. We do wake up from time to time and we're like, yeah, let's just go in this direction. Because yesterday we were talking about going to Utah, and then today we said, oh, why don't we go to Sedona instead? You ready to get back on the road? Let's do it. All right, let's go. My favorite nighttime snack, Ricola. It's 10 p.m. I'm pretty tired and we decided that the rest area is going to be a better place for us to spend the night than a truck stop. Probably a lot quieter and it was a few miles closer so I don't have to be on the road anymore. I'm ready to hit the sack and go to bed. Leo's already passed out and it's cooled down quite a bit so I think we'll sleep well tonight and then get up early and make our way to Sedona. I slept really well last night. You? Very well. Nice and quiet. It was. I'm glad we picked this over the uh, truck stop last night. Usually truck stops, people are coming and going the whole time. This was really pleasant. Good morning, Leo. Did you sleep well, Leo? He always sleeps well. But it's so funny after his bath, it's like non-stop hair. But he's so white. He is. Look at just endless, endless hair. Right, Leo? He needs a good brushing. And I brushed him yesterday. Does have to brush him again? Ah, oh, thank you. 
So I was thinking we could go to Flagstaff instead of Sedona. Sounds good to me. We like it up there. It looks like the weather is a little bit warmer <laughs> the next few days, so maybe we can head up there and then head down to Sedona once it gets cold. Yeah, let's do that. Leo loves Flagstaff. Yeah, he does. All right, to the van. Pre-coffee, coffee? Pre-coffee, coffee. Pre coffee, coffee. So what I do is, in the morning, I take some water, and with my coffee cup from yesterday, there's still a little bit of coffee at the bottom, pour the water in there, swish it around, I rinse it, and they get a little caffeine jolt before I make my coffee. It's your coffee water. Mm-hmm. That's when you know you truly have a problem. I'm the coffee drinker, Kate is the tea drinker. Babe? Here is your jasmine green tea. Thank you. I'm also the barista in this family. You are. You're a good barista. Yeah, except I didn't make enough water for both. So I had to heat some more up. It's because you gave me extra water for my tea. I did. I took care of you first. Thank you. You're welcome. Really excited to head back to Flagstaff. The last time we were there was on our way to Los Angeles. Last year when my mom was having her cancer surgery. Mm-hmm. And the very first time we went there was when we first got on the road in the Class A. Yeah. And you got me right in the face with that snowball. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Two Flagstaff. Staff, I just made me think about what do you want to do for the winter? I'm open. I'm good to stay in Arizona for the whole winter. Yeah, I mean, well, I think we only have a few more days to spend in Flagstaff. Next four days, it should be good. I think it gets down to the low 40s or so at night. Let's see. Today is a high of 67 and a low of 33. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is a high of low 70s and a low of high 30s. Okay. So I think we should be okay. Yeah, we can survive that. What we get in, where we get into trouble is overnight if it drops below freezing, since the tank and all the lines back there are external, they could freeze on us. Right. So we don't want to have that happen. Nope. Um, so I would say let's spend the next few days in Flagstaff. Okay. We can come south, go to Sedona, but I think there are enough, there's enough BLM land in that that if we want to spend an extended amount of time in Arizona, we can definitely do that. For now, that'll be the plan. Yes. There's so many reasons to love Flagstaff because it's dog friendly. Never been. They have, it's a pleasure way. Uh -huh. So Flagstaff is dog friendly. Yeah. They have great coffee. They do. They have great grocery stores. Great beer. Plenty of free camping and free dumps and places to fill up for free water. So we're good. I love Flagstaff. I do too. I love Arizona. <laughs> Flagstaff city limits and it is 65 degrees out. Oh, it's gorgeous up here. It is. And our fuel gauge just beeped at us. Yeah, we're almost on the empty line, but we're almost there. It is Flagstaff, Arizona. Founded in 1882. Elevation 7,000. I 
feel like our MPG is going to be really bad on this tank. Yeah, most of that drive today was all uphill. I mean, we've done 262 miles and we're almost completely empty. And we did 280 yesterday without even getting to the low fuel mark. Yep. Yeah, I think we were still at a, just below a quarter tank when we hit 280. So this thing does not like mountainous terrain whatsoever. Well, here's to hoping we make it to the gas station. We'll make it. Coming up the hill on the 17, we got just under 12 miles per day. It's pretty bad. Not as bad as Tahoe. No, Tahoe was what, nine? Nine. Yeah. Ambulance. And gas is cheaper out here. Much cheaper. It's even cheaper in Phoenix. It was only, I think, 220 per gallon. Yeah. All right. Off to find some dispersed camping? Mm-hmm. Okay. You gotta tell me where we're going first. Oh, yes. Leo, we're in Flagstaff. We're back, buddy. He's excited. Leo. Hey, bud. How's the road? Uh, not too bad. The van is handling it well. There's some people camp back in there. You wanna go down that way? No. Uh, up to you. Well, it looks like there's a spot right here. 506? Yeah. yeah. That looks pretty redded out though. I think that's the way to cross that. Oh, there's a tent camper over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a lot of people down this way. Yeah. Got a little vintage trailer over there. This spot looks pretty good. Okay, let's check it out. But we can also park back here too. I'll leave it up to you. Well, I like the fact that we get more sun out here, but I'd prefer to be further away from the road. Okay. Do you want me to guide you or do you want to go around? the right. Uh, why don't you get out and just make sure I don't clip any of these branches. Okay. Love this spot. It is a good spot. What do you think, Leo? Do you love it? He likes it. Leo loves the weather. You love the weather. It's so chilly, I'm gonna have to grab my jacket. It's supposed to be pretty cold tonight. 33. Ooh, you better put some pants on too. You still have shorts on. I do. <laughs> well, this is a great spot. Good call, honey. Thank you. It's very secluded. I, I like it. it. Home is where we park it. That it is. All right, dinner time. Dinner time. I think I'm gonna have a glass of wine. You do that. Can I have <laughs> some tea? You may. All right, let's get set up. Okay, we're set up. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We're set up. <laughs> Bye, man. Yeah, we're all set up. Now this is what I love about being in a class B versus a class A. The class A would take us about a half hour to set up, put the slides out, the carpets down, get our things out, flip a chair and we're ready to go. We don't even bother putting blocks down anymore. No, it doesn't really bother us as long as, so what I did here is there is a downward slope and what I've noticed with this van is it sits a little lower in the front. So what I do is, downward slope in front of the van, park it this way so we're not as off level. And if we're off level side to side, I try to get it so that the driver's side is a bit higher because our heads are on this side. 
and it's nice to be either level or just higher on the driver's side because we sleep better that way. It's a little weird though if the driver's side is low and we're laying backwards. Yeah, we never do that. No, and we've actually switched. We will move our pillows to the other side of the bed so we have our heads elevated. Leo doesn't care. No, he doesn't care. He'll sleep any direction. Won't you, bud? Even upside down. <laughs> Well, we made it to Flagstaff. We found our dispersed camping spot. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We will see you next week. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And click up here to check out our camper van series from the beginning. Bye.